Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the Apple iPhone 12. Now you can pick this one up from Apple or Amazon. I'll throw the links up in the description. The price on this one starts at 830 bucks. Now it comes in five different colors. You got red, blue, black, green, and white. All right, so let's go through all the specs. Now this is a 5G phone and it's available for all carriers. All right, so nobody's asked out. For the display, you got a 6.1 inch Super Retina OLED panel with a resolution of 1170 by 2532. Now that's 460 for the PPI Patrol. You got Gorilla Glass on the front and on the back. You got the aluminum frame and the phone is IP68 dust and water resistant. For the processor, you got the Apple A14 Bionic Supersonic Titanium Uranium chipset with the Apple GPU. Now what does that mean in English? I don't know. All you need to know is flagship specs, bro. Flagship specs. Now you got four gigs of RAM, 64, 128, or 256 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now it's running iOS 14, that means you can finally move your widgets. Now you got a 2,815 milliamp battery capable of 20 watt fast charging, that's zero to 50% in 30 minutes, and 15 watt wireless charge. For the cameras, on the rear, you got a dual setup. So you got a 12 megapixel wide angle and a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle lens. On the front, you got a 12 megapixel wide angle lens. Both cameras can shoot 4K video. Now you also got dual stereo speakers. You got Bluetooth 5.0, NFC, and you got face unlock. All right, so all that for 830 bucks, what's missing? No expandable memory. All right, so make sure you buy the right size. No high refresh rate. All right, so if you're coming over from Android phones, you're dropping back down to 60 hertz. No fingerprint sensor. No reverse wireless charging. No always on display. And no headphone jack. That's just whack. Hashtag bars. All right, let's unbox it and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes. Back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. White shoes. I love my white Calm down. All right, here we go. iPhone 12. Now, I went with the blue version. Okay. Here we go. Now, the box, very thin. All right. Not your usual size for the iPhone box. And I think you know why. <laughs> nice white box. All right, I like the nice presentation. I know what it is. Inside, this is going to be your device. This is going to be your, let's see, USB Type-C to lightning charging cable. I shoes. Inspect that for quality. Let's see what you get in here. Now this is gonna be your SIM ejection tool. Usual books and shit, plug them and follow them. And your Apple Troll sticker. Let's see now. Hold up. Where the fuck is the charge at? All right, now nah, I'm just kidding. We all gotta talk about the elephant in the room. No charge in the box. Now a lot of people been hitting me up on Instagram all week long asking me, what do I think about Apple not putting the charge in the box? And the easiest way for me to say this, is man, fuck Apple, all right? This is some Mickey Mouse bullshit, cash grab, whack type of shit, all right? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Now, I know what some of y'all gonna say. Oh, everybody got charges in the house. Everybody got charges in the house. Oh, they doing it for the environment. Man, fuck all that bullshit, all right? Everybody got charges in the house, but a lot of people got charges like this. USB-A to plug. You need a USB Type-C to plug. Now, unless you're a real hardcore nerd, like most of y'all watching this video, and me, I right, hashtag nerd unite, and you buy new tech all of the time, chances are you don't have an extra USB Type-C plug. And if you have one already, you're probably using it for your laptop. So you want another one. Now you just paid 830 bucks. Yo, what the fuck, where's the charge at? Look, put it like this. Imagine if you went to Foot Locker and you bought a pair of Air Jordans, and you got home and you took them out and they didn't have no shoelaces. You're going to be like, yo, this is whack, yeah? You call up Nike and they say, oh, well, you got shoelaces in the house from other sneakers. This ain't your first pair of shoes. Take those out, wash them, and throw them in the new Jordans. You're going to be like, fuck that. I just paid $200 for these Jordans. I want the full experience. Same thing. I just spent 830 bucks. I want the full phone. All right, now, for comparison's sake, I spent 850 bucks for this Mi 10 Ultra, which literally kills this phone in every department. And this phone came with a 120-watt fast-charging brick. 
Now, we're not even going to talk about the fact that this phone, the iPhone 12, charges from 0 to 50% in 30 minutes with a charger that you got to buy. And this phone charges from 0 to 100% in 23 minutes with a charger that comes in the box. We're not even going to talk about that. I don't like this type of shit, all right? I'm keeping it real, which I don't like this. Now, this just happened to me the other night. I ordered from Uber Eats, you know, from the diner, $50 worth of food. That shit came to my house with no fork. I called up Uber Eats immediately and was like, I'm not paying for this. You know what she's going to have the nerve to tell me on the phone? Well, you at home. Don't you got a fork in your house? That ain't the point. That ain't the point. I paid $50 for the full eating out dining experience. All right? I'm not paying $50 to do dishes. And the same thing, I'm not paying 830 bucks to now have to go to Apple and buy another charger. All right? They talking about, oh, for the environment. That's bullshit. First of all, ain't nobody throwing away no charges. All right? I don't care what phone you get. You're not going to take your old phone and be like, all right, I got the new iPhone. Let me take my old phone, put it in the drawer, sell it, do whatever I do. And let me just wrap up the charger and throw it away. Who does that? Everybody got that drawer in your house with a bunch of charges and a bunch of cables in it. All right? This is some bullshit. Now, I know what some of y'all getting ready to say. Oh, you're talking all that shit, but you still like Apple products. Yes. Yes, I do. All right? It's called tough love. All right? Same thing with Samsung. When they fuck up, I got to call them out. When Apple fucks up, you got to call them out too. All right? Stop letting them get away with murder. Nevertheless, I digress. Let me do the smell test on this one. Mm! This one smells like mystique. All right, you know Mystique from X-Men? If you happen to be in the gym working out and you're standing next to Mystique, this is what she's going to smell like. This is kind of sick. Now, actually, I never held this in my hand for the first time. I like this little thick design. Definitely feeling that. Let's do a quick comparison. Here's the iPhone 11, iPhone 12. Let's put them side by side. iPhone 11 is a little bit taller and a little bit thinner but I like this thick feel better. Anyway, <laughs> I know that was a little rant. Sorry about that. Let me pause the video. I'll set everything up and then we'll walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we'll be back in. Now, while I'm in the process of setting up all my information, let's take a look at some must-have accessories. First up, we got the Spigen 20-watt fast charging brick and the Spigen USB Type-C to lightning cable. Now, I'll leave the link for these up in the description. You can pick them up on Amazon. Phone didn't come with this charger, so you're going to need this. Let's take a look at it real quick. Activate beast mode. Rah! Here we go. Okay. 20-watt fast charging brick. Okay, got a little speaking logo on this. USB Type-C. Okay. And the plug folds up. So if you got this in your pocket, you don't have to worry about sitting on it. Let's take a look at the cable. Look at the wrist. Now this is nice, comes with a little Velcro strap. Cable management. So this is gonna be USB Type-C to lightning. Okay, so let's slap this in to make sure it works. Plug it in real quick. And there it is. Let's keep it moving. Next up, let me show you a couple of cases from Spigen, all under 20 bucks. First up, we got the Ultra Hybrid. All right, so let's check this one out. Okay, now shout out to Spigen. No more sticker struggles. All right, so you can just peel this off. Rah. And we got one more. Rah. Ultra Hybrid. Check this out. Hard shell, fully transparent. Got your buttons, cutouts, buttons, cutouts. Slap this one on. Still showcase that beautiful color of your phone. Look at all that razivity. This case is Slam Boy certified. Let's check the buttons. There it is. And of course, wireless charge. Ultra hybrid. Let's keep it moving. Next up. We got the liquid air, okay? Flick of the wrist. Now this one, flexible TPU style material, textured pattern in the back, 
Pattern on the inside, that's for shock absorption. Cutouts, buttons, cutouts, buttons. Matte feel on this one, no fingerprints. This one slaps right on. Check the buttons. There it is. All that juicy razivity. Like I said, no fingerprints on this one. And of course, wireless charge on deck. This one is also Slam Boy certified. Now for all y'all home getting triggered, this is not a real wood table. All right, calm down. Let's keep it moving. Next up, we got the rugged armor. All right, so let's check this one out. Flick of the wrist. Now this is one of my favorite cases. Soft matte feel in the back on this one. Textured feel on the top. Carbon fiber trim on the bottom. Cut out for your Apple logo. Same shock, uh, shock absorption pattern on the inside. Buttons, cutouts, buttons, cutouts. Slap this one on. All that juicy razivity. All right, Slam Boy certified. Showcase your Apple logo. Showcase the color of your phone. No fingerprints. Hit the button. There it is. And you got wireless charge. All right, so this is the rugged armor. Let's keep it moving. Next up, we got the Neo Hybrid. All right, I love this one too. Y'all seen this plenty of times. See it one more time. Check it out. Now this is two layers of protection. TPU with a bumper going around it. Shock absorption. Cutouts, buttons, cutouts, buttons. Slap this one on. Okay. Let's get that rubber lined up. Now this one, maximum razivity. All right, so if you got Butterfinger-itis and you're always dropping your phone, this one is Slam Boy certified. Now, y'all might think that's a crack. It's a cat here. All right, <laughs> calm down. Now I can't check the button because it's reloading, but all of these buttons do work. It's reloading, so I can't check a wireless charge. Let me come back in a second. All right, so back to the Neo Hybrid. Let's check that button. There it is. And there's your wireless charge. Let's keep it moving. Now, these cases, you can put them on and take them off just that fast. Next up, this is my favorite case, the Tough Armor. All right, this is the case that I use pretty much every day. Now for this one, inside, got your air foam cushions. All right, that's for shock absorption. This is a two-part style case. All right, so it's TPU with a hard shell outer layer. You got a kickstand, cut out for your Apple logo. There's your buttons, cutouts, cutouts, buttons. Slap this one on. Now this one right here has maximum razivity. Slam Boy certified. Check the button. There it is. Wireless charge. Bang. Let's check that kickstand. Just like that. So when you're watching your videos, it's going to look like this. Now, one thing that I like about this kickstand, listen to that sound. All right, no flappage on this. Once you lock that kickstand, it's not going to move around. All right, so this is the Tough Armor. Now, I got one last case I want to show y'all. We got the Slim Armor CS, and the CS stands for card slot. All right, let's check this one out. Okay. Now this is basically a tough armor with a credit card slot on the back. Inside, shock absorption, cutouts, buttons, cutouts, buttons. Throw this one on real quick. Okay, check the buttons. There it is. You can easily get to your card with one hand. Just like that. Drop your driver's license, debit card right in there. No wallet necessary. You still get your wireless charge. And you still get all that juicy razivity. Slam Boy certified. Slim Armor CS. Now I got one more accessory I want to show you. How. All right, so we also got the Spigen Glass TR Easy Fit Tempered Glass Screen Protector. Now this is a pack of two. Let's slap this one on so you can see what it looks like. Now the thing I like about this one, it comes with everything you need. All right, so if you never put on a screen protector in your life, no problems. All right, all you gotta do, line your phone, peel it up, 
and it's gonna be on your phone. Now in the interest of time, I'm gonna slap this on so you can see what it looks like installed. All right, now I hate doing stuff halfway, so I'm gonna do this in real time. First thing you gotta do, grab your wet wipe, wipe down the front of your display. All right, get all that dirt, debris, cat hair, get everything out of there. Next, grab your microfiber cleaning cloth, just wipe it down. Now it does come with dust removal tape, but you don't need that. All right, just get everything nice and clean just like that. First step, peel the back of this off. Next step, drop your phone face down, just like that. On the front, you're gonna press and slide, all right? Press and slide. Do this for about 10 times. Just let it sit for a minute. Next, peel this stick off. Okay, well, should come off a little bit easier than this one. I'm doing this fast though. All right, here it goes. Peel this sticker off right here, just like that. Pop this one off. Now, you're gonna take that squeegee. See a little bit of bubbles right there? Just gonna work the bubbles out. All right, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Now, once you work out all of the bubbles, peel the outer layer off, and there it is. Bubble-free installation. Spigen Glass TR. Let's keep it moving. All right, now I promised y'all I was gonna keep this quick, so let's just do a fast look around. I ordered the Pro, that version comes next week, and I'm also getting the Mini and the Pro Max. Now, once I get the Pro Max, then I'll do the full review. First up, build quality. Y'all know I gotta say it. Feels so good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedures. I love the glossy back. The best thing about this phone, though, is that thick aluminum frame. It gives it that old school kind of feel to it. I love the look, the color. Everything is dope. Now, no fingerprint sensor, but the face unlock. Typical Apple status, all right, top of the food chain. Silky smooth. Now, check this out. Let me uh, open up something safe. Let's see what we got. Safari, all right, <laughs> let's see, let's go to Bing. You still got the big George Jefferson forehead, but it's basically bezel-less. All right, now, y'all know I hate this forehead, but it's an iPhone, you gotta get used to it. And you will get used to it. Phone runs silky smooth, iOS 14, check this out. Now you got widgets that you can actually move. Y'all remember all your widgets used to be right here? On the front page, now you can have, with iOS 14, widgets in the middle. Or you could just do something like this, scroll all the way to the end, you got your app library. But you can long press, just add another widget, Siri suggestions, bong, right there. Like I said, no high refresh rate on this, but it is what it is. On one side, you got your power button, which works, I ain't no problems with that. Got your 5G antennas, got your speaker grill, lightning adapter, there's your SIM tray, volume up and down, your ring vibrate on and off switch, dual camera setup on the rear, camera on the front. Let's take it over to the camera real quick. Let's see what modes we got. Time lapse, slow motion, video, photo, portrait, and panorama. Now look, we all know this camera is gonna be boss, so I will take some dope pictures and videos for the test. Matter of fact, while we're here, let's test the speakers real quick. Matter of fact, hold up, let's see something. Let's um, let's try this real quick. All right, so let's test out the speakers. Of course, I got the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy, Mark Rebier. Here we go. Yo, sound test, type of sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, type of sound test. Time to test that quality of sound test. Sound test, baby, that's a sound test, that's a motherfucking sound test. How's the sound on that shit, goddammit? How's the sound on that shit, goddammit? 
Cover up the bottom speaker. Nice and loud from the top. Real nice. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rabier. All right, so now let's check the web browsing speeds. Go to Samsung.com. Okay. Full website. 60 hertz refresh rate. It is what it is. Still looks nice and fast, nice and smooth. All right, so now let's check the web browsing speed with the iPhone 11 versus iPhone 12. All right, let's go to samsung.com on each one. Okay, let's open up mobile phones at the same time. Hmm, interesting. Pretty similar. But here's one thing you'll notice. Now, I don't know if you can see this on camera. Look at the difference between the OLED display and the LCD display. You see at this viewing angle, you can see it more. Now, both of these are on max brightness, but you see better viewing angles with the OLED panel. So it's a big difference. Now, you can see it better when the phone is on the table. The whites look a lot whiter. All right, so now let's test this beautiful OLED display. Other than the notch, beautiful. OLED panel is going to give you those excellent viewing angles. This is tough. All right, so let's wrap this up. Now hit me up in the comments and let me know if there's anything specific y'all want me to cover when I do the full review. But y'all know how I get down. I'm going to tear this apart from top to bottom, tell you everything that I like and everything that I don't like. But as of right now, fresh out of the box, my initial impressions, on a scale of one to 10, the iPhone 12 is a major, major, major go. If you love iPhones and you're heavy into the Apple ecosystem, then you're gonna love this. If you had an iPhone 11 and you upgrade into the 12, you're gonna love it. It's everything that the iPhone 11 is, plus more. Got a better display, better build quality, better cameras, it's 5G, and you got some dope new colors. Now, I will say this. If you're a hardcore Android fan, then this ain't nothing but some peasant bullshit. And let me explain to you what I mean by that. Now, look, I'm not biased. I use Android and iPhones, but I've just got to keep it real. Hardcore Android fans, we're not paying 830 bucks for this bullshit. Check this out. This phone right here, this is 850 bucks, okay? Let's do a quick breakdown. You got wireless charge, which is faster. You got reverse wireless charge. You got quad camera setup with 120 times zoom. The phone is water resistant. You got an always on display. You got an on screen fingerprint sensor. You got face unlock. The phone is silky smooth. The battery is twice as big. This phone charges from zero to 50% in 30 minutes. This is zero to 100%. 23 minutes, and I did this one live, actually 28 minutes in the USA. Think about that, 850 bucks versus 830 bucks. Now look, you don't have to like either Android or iOS, you can like both, but you gotta keep it real, Android is definitely better. All right? You're getting way more bang for your buck, not to mention multitasking, all right, split screen multitasking, movable widgets that we Ben had. I mean, look, I could, uh, I could do this all day. I can do this all day. All I'm saying is, if you got a, if you got a dope Android phone, all right, and you want to try an iPhone, do your thing. This phone is nice and smooth. The camera's dope. You're not going to have a problem, but you're going to miss these Android phones, and you're going to miss all of these features. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. 
Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, Stream Gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and pitch and be rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Energize. situation where everybody in the world uses technology and if you're gonna buy some of that technology you gotta understand certain things subscribe to Flossy Carter he does reviews of all the latest technology the iPhones the iPads the galaxies the Samsung's whatever the fuck the beats by that doctor guy and he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at you know, I'm an animal lover, so I like that shit. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.